Hey, it's Chef Austin with EverythingKitchens.com. We got a special guest today, Bobby Griggs from Hammerstall. How are you doing? Doing all right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to season a stainless steel pan. So uh, we get lots of questions on our website. I think you guys have had them as well um, about how to season different types of materials when it comes to, to cookware. And one of the, the, the products that probably gets the least amount of attention is stainless steel. Uh, there are folks out there that are, for whatever reason, um, a little shy of nonstick for some health concerns. Uh, sure. Be it, you know, the actual or not. Right. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, stainless steel is a very nice, clean cooking surface, and you can cook in it nonstick by simply seasoning, much like you would a carbon steel pan or a cast okay, iron pan. Okay, sure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So how does how does that work though? Pretty simple, we're gonna preheat this on medium heat, so it does take okay. a bit of patience. Sure. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna we're on an electric stove today, we're gonna do this on a five or a six. Okay, Just right. about a five, so now we're just gonna let this sit here and wait, and this is kind of, you know, uh, the, the patience part. So yes. <laughs> uh, it's not gonna, you know, even though this heats up really quickly, it's gonna take us three to four minutes for this pan to come to temperature. Um, and so, cause we're gonna do it on a slow, gradual heat. Uh, and the reason that you want to do that is that all metals, when they expand, pores open up. And so what this oil is going to do is it's going to get into those pores and create a nice sheen across the top of it. But we want to open this in a controlled environment. If we crank this up to high heat right now, we're going to get it super hot, by, by the way, because we've got beautiful aluminum that's inside these uh, layers of stainless steel. And we're not going to do it under control. So we want this to open up in a nice controlled format. Um, and keep that temperature down so that when we add this oil, it's not gonna start to burn on us right yes, away. Yes, yes, absolutely. So we're gonna add just a little bit of oil here. So we're using a high temperature oil. I believe this is canola oil, but there's some other high temperature oils that you would recommend as well, right? Yeah, something like avocado oil, sunflower oil would also work, but yeah, canola oil, just your standard uh, would be great. Yeah. So not a whole lot of oil. Now we're gonna take this older rag, and we're just gonna rub this around here. We want a nice, even finish. And what we don't want is a lot of excess oil sitting in this pan. And this would be same for cast iron or carbon steel. You want a nice, clean, thin surface. And so I get it all the way around, all the rivets and everything. So, And so you want, uh, with oil, you want almost like a nuttiness. Is that what you'll start to mm -hmm. smell? Um, you know, kind of like if you were roasting pecans or peanuts mm -hmm. or something like that. That's when you know it's about to get to temperature. And what we teach everyone as we're traveling around talking to folks about cooking is that you should cook with all of your senses. You know, sight, obviously smell, we want to taste it. Yes. Um, hearing, so in a few minutes we're going to fry a pancake. We want to hear a little bit of sizzle when the, the, the batter hits the pan. Um, and so you want to use all of your senses. I mean, cooking is an experience. It's an expression of love, in my opinion, because uh, we all gather around the table and we're typically not just cooking for ourselves, exactly. we're cooking yes. for others too, yes. so fair enough. All right, so we're getting a little smoke there, and what I'm gonna do here is just wipe a little bit out. You can start to see that smoke oh, there. So now it, what yeah. we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn this off, and we're gonna remove this from the stovetop unit, so let it cool. And then in a few minutes, we'll come back, we'll wipe out any excess oil, and then she'll be ready to go. All right, sounds like a plan. Sounds fun. Cool, so our pan is hot, it's pancake time. Yes, sir, absolutely. So we're just gonna add a little pancake uh, mixture here and you did a really fine job of getting something that's a little little thick. I don't like runny pancake mixtures. No, no, that's what four years of culinary school do. You get your perfect right. pancake. <laughs> We've got a football-sized pancake here. There we go. Kind of oblong, but uh, she'll, she'll cook okay. Oh yeah, so. oh yeah, it'll taste good. Now you can hear here, it's got a really nice sizzle. Uh, you want just a nice, clean, not overabundant, but just a nice clean sizzle when we start. Um, and we want to not mess with this a whole lot. We want to let it form and let the pan do the work now. One yes. of the biggest challenges I think home cooks have is they just, they, they over tinker. And they want to touch it and uh, move it yep. and do all kinds of stuff. Yep. Just let the pan sear that uh, that batter right there. And we're going to look for an edge to form on the side and some really nice bubbles to form in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, once that happens, then we'll turn it over and uh, we'll be ready to go. Okay, so, very cool. I'm absolutely. excited. All right, so we're starting to get some nice bubbles in the middle, and uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and turn it. Let's go ahead and take a little peek here. So you can see how easy that come off, and yeah. you can take a little peek at no, the pan. No effort there. Nice. But now we're just gonna let this sit for maybe another 30 seconds to a minute at most. Um, just kind of sear the other side, still keep some of that uh, fluffiness in the middle, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, really gonna Bring out the flavor in this pancake. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Don't want an overcooked pancake. No, you don't. <laughs> so I, I like mine just a little creamy on the inside. Oh, not, yes. not, not undone, but right. definitely just where it's just finished cooking. So that's Delicious. kind of how I like them. Delicious. Um, absolutely. So yeah. let's go ahead and remove this here. I think she's ready to go. And uh, 
Man, yeah, that just slid right out. There's no effort. Yeah, and that's, that's almost perfect right there. And that's awesome. That's the inside of the pan. And um, you could do eggs the same way. Uh, if you wanted to fry an egg now, I uh, just want to keep that temperature down. Yeah. You know, medium heats, not high heats. Yeah, that's and I, I mean, a lot of people like d who don't cook a lot, right. guys, stainless steel is notorious for sticking. Like, it is made to stick. Right. And that's where you get like your hard sears on your steaks, but making this nonstick is mind blowing, especially like doing something as delicate as pancakes or eggs. This is really cool, Bobby. Thank you. Well, thanks for having me and uh, hope you guys enjoy the pancakes. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Right. Guys, if you have any questions about Hammerstall, leave them in the comments below. We'll absolutely get you helped out. Bobby, thank you so much for joining us at our headquarters at Everything Kitchen and making us some awesome pancakes. Oh, well, it's so. my pleasure. Fantastic staff here, a beautiful facility, and we're just excited to be partnering with you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was so cool. The non-stick on your stainless steel. I would have never guessed. I would have been like, oh, I need a non-stick pan, right? But Look at that, there Absolutely. we go. So you can check that out on our website at everythingkitchens.com. And if you wanna see more chef reviews and unboxing videos, you can check out our YouTube channel. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys next time.